I'm a mountain hunter at heart. But I never thought I'd be on a mountain hunt in Africa. We're trying to complete the Royal McNabb, a mountain reed buck or bald rebo, gray winged Franklin, and wild trout on a fly rod, all in one day between sunrise and sunset. This is a this is a destination that's worth uh, taking the time to travel far to. Once you're there, you don't want to leave. It says they'll chop your nuts off if you have a wee in public. Were you just trying to go pee over there? Yeah. By the chop your nuts off sign. The, the, the sign gave me a fright. <laughs> yeah, because look, dude, they have a business here. <laughs> yeah. But look at that sign, dude. <laughs> Pay the man his money. Oh my. <laughs> I'm excited to see these mountains. Apparently we're hunting at like six to 8,000 feet or something like that. And so far everything's just been thick bush and pretty flat, but now it's almost, it reminds me of Alberta. It's foothills and almost like Drumheller. I'm excited. I thought you told me that this was going to be rustic. This rustic. is rustic. <laughs> like in a tent. No, this is sweet. People here keep asking me if South Africa is exactly like I expected and I didn't come here with any expectations. Been here for a couple weeks and now we're in the mountains and this is definitely not what I expected. It's below freezing this morning. Foothills landscape, but we're staying in this little cottage. This is posh hunting for sure, not bush camps <laughs> like I'm used to. Very, very nice to wake up to this view for sure. But um, yeah, we're just going to kind of just relax today, climb the hills a bit with Brandon, show some countryside off and uh, yeah, kind of just stretch the legs and uh, warm up for tomorrow's challenge. We're looking very forward to it. Oh, we just, just found a covey of birds, so we're going to not look a gift horse in the mouth and see if we can get one of these birds to fly nicely in front of us. just managed to get a abrasive grey wing, so first part of the McNabb is done. But uh, we've been looking here for the last 10 minutes trying to find the second bird that I shot. And uh, we probably walked past it about 20 times. It looks exactly like a rock. These are just the ultimate game birds. Come have a look at this, guys. Well here you have it guys, this is a abrasive grey wing over here, Rolls Royce of game birds, fast flying, incredibly camouflaged as you could see earlier, um, yeah just truly, truly blessed to have started. It's only 7.32 and we've already got the first part of the McNabb done, luckily uh, Fred heard the, the grey wing calling and he said uh, let's make a move and here's the end result, I'm, <laughs> I couldn't be happier guys, this is awesome mate, this is really awesome. Hopefully we can pull the 
myself that it's gonna be a it's gonna be a big hike for sure. But uh, let's see what happens. You never know what's around the next corner. <laughs> Beautiful mountain Reebok. Well, here we have the the beautiful mountain Reebok. Uh, this is the 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 fifth part of the McNab. Um, we saw a whole bunch of well, a whole bunch of mountain Reebok this, after, uh, this morning. Um, we saw a whole bunch of ewes now, but we couldn't find the ram. And true as Bobby was just just tucked away just below us, and he popped out. Didn't know where he were, and gave me about a 90 meter shot somewhere around there. Uh, didn't want to shoot off my knees, but it was nice and close and he stood beautifully and um, Yeah, we recovered him and they really are just incredible animals um, it's Just after 10 now, so we're gonna go and pack this thing out. It's gonna be a bit, <laughs> a bit of a climb, but um, Yeah, once we got him packed out, we're gonna head to uh, head to some lakes and uh, some rivers and whatnot and see if we can try and get a wild trout and fly and uh, Yeah, hopefully we can get this McNabb in the bag. You know all the stories of uh, people that die doing selfies? This is one of those places that it could definitely happen. We just packed Mountain Reebok from way down there somewhere up here. But we forgot the gun down there, so Dempsey had to go all the way back to the bottom. Huh? How was that? Just a word of advice, don't get to the top of the mountain and realize you left your gun in the bottom. That sucks, but still early, still a time to go fish. Man, that was hard. <sighs> Came from all the way down there. <laughs> that was a... Uh, that took a bit longer than expected, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go and thrash the water a bit, and as Fred says, try and rip some lips and see what we can come up with. But uh, we've still got lots of time at least, so looking forward to the next step. Except that I was watching these guys fish the other day, and they <laughs> struck out hard at the exact place that we're going. <laughs> How are we gonna fish? How are we gonna fish? Oh. We'll make a hole in the ice. We're gonna have to just fish where there's, where there's holes. Just here. And I have to go and fish for that goldfish in my daughter's room. <laughs> oh, we got to, the, got to the lake here and it's uh, frozen over. There's literally just a couple of segments or sections where you can actually get a fly out, but it's straight into the wind. So this is a, yeah, this will be a serious challenge. I don't know what we're gonna do, but uh, let's give it a bash. Let's see what happens. Still got time. Guys seen ice before? Yeah. I <laughs> well, I, I don't think I have. There's a lot of it in our drinks, but um, yeah, this is a this not is like a, this. This is a lot of ice. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, there you go, guys. Uh, gave it a full attempt. Unfortunately, the, uh, the other side of the dam that we wanted to fish froze up completely, so we had to basically cast into wind, or oh, direct into some heavy winds the whole afternoon. Made it really, really challenging. Um, but you know, that's nature. That's part of the McNab. It's a challenge. Um, these mountains are, are a drag. They'll keep pulling you back every every single time. Um, yeah, I, uh, I'll definitely be looking forward to my next one. And on the next one, hopefully, you can show you the full result. But um, yeah, it was a great experience. And thank you, Fred. Appreciate it. And thanks for Rudy and Brandon on the camera. Uh, yeah, it was just uh, yeah the ultimate sportsman's challenge, and that's why it's called the Royal McNab. You can't ask for more.